Hey, what's up? So, I just thought to myself, I'm going to make a bench slab. Why not show you guys a quick, easy way to do and make live edge slabs look good and make an easy bench top. This isn't going to be the whole bench. This is just going to be a top. We're going to do another how to make a bench video very soon for chainsaws and one log and make a really cool bench. But this is just how to quickly treat a bench top. So I'm going to use this. They come, you know, trees that have bark. So to get the bark off, I use one of these. I got a little like wedge, little little chisel here, and I just put it right along the bark seam and uh, just hammer it out. You know, you're just trying to get a nice little thing here. There we go. So I've already done this side. That's how it looks like now. And what I like to do is burn it. So we're gonna get the torch and we're gonna burn it. And don't drop it on my foot. So, here we go. Grab my torch. So the reason I did that is it's still green and the sapwood is still a bit wet. Now this tree is also a bit wet, so that's why I grazed over the top of it just very lightly not changing the color of it too much a little bit here but that's okay if you don't have a tiger torch just get yourself a blow torch or just take the time let it dry and then you can just sand it but i'm doing this fast and easy and we're going to make this a quick fast video so now that i have this I'm, i see that there's a little piece of bark here i'll quickly get rid of that then i'm going to grab a polisher which is a big seven inch disc and that will sand this very quick. But if you don't have one of those and you have a palm sander, just start with a 36 or a 60 grit. Go over it once or twice and then move into an 80 and then a 120 and then it will look very nice. So let's do that right now. The more sapwood you peel off, the better it is and the nicer it will look. Now the reason I'm getting that sapwood off is it is live edge, but you know, you gotta kinda clean up as much as you can of this sapwood, and then once you have that, you can just sand it out. You know, it's not a crazy big deal. Nobody's gonna really know if you have to take a little bit off or you overdo a bit. It's all about just like the live edge part. So don't stress, just uh, have fun, you know, and, and make do with what tools you have. You know, if you don't have all the best tools, just try to think outside the box and creatively to uh to do it you know one thing i am doing here is speed drying it now propane has a it, it does create a dampness to it because i believe it's oxygen in it still um so it's not a dry heat but it does do a good job surface drying your piece so surface drying your piece is gonna allow you to sand it if it's green. Wear a respirator. When you're sanding wood, especially cedar, try to protect yourself. Don't think it's just one time. I don't gotta do it. Always try to wear a mask when you're using cedar because it's carcinogenic and it will really hurt your lungs. And it's always good to just be safe. So this is a Makita polisher. It's uh, This is a very excessive tool for this job. You can use a palm sander, you can pick them up. Makita sells them, I think they're like 40 bucks. And you can make it, it's a little slower. This is just a fast version. I use it in competitions, it's the way I do it. All right. So for the edges, I'm just gonna use a Makita angle grinder. This is just a four inch disc with a uh, rubber backing pad. It'll work great. You definitely can, uh, when they're a bit green, uh, it, it, it gums up sandpaper. So when it comes up the sandpaper, you just moving through it, you know, get the angle grinder out, buff it out, and it'll be very quick. It'll be very easy. And then you can go over it with the sander because you'll be take off a layer of the wetness. 
or you can just keep burning it. it I'm not gonna leave it like that I don't think but It's a really nice, easy way to just do simple benches and you can add them to carvings, you could add them to just a bench itself. You could do the same thing for the back, two and a half inch slabs. It'll hold a lot of people at six foot long. So if you like this video, definitely give it a like and check out my next video that's coming up. It's uh, probably starting right now. My name's Ryan Cook. See you guys later. You.